Hello, welcome back to IT Landy Nugget Courses. This time we will be covering Azure Stack and what is the benefit of Azure Stack. So without further ado, let's we jump into the first part, which is the area we will be covering today around the platform as a service and infrastructure as a service and what tool, what interaction will be and why we will be using it and how that will add some values and why do we need to focus on Azure stack if you notice lately Microsoft showed some uh, uh, interest into Linux and we can see that Microsoft loves Linux and as uh, as highlighted here uh, you know like around DevOps management application app framework database and middleware we can see where are the Linux uh, sitting at the moment it is the base of all of these tools and from Red Hat to SUSE to you know mm, Oracle Linux free BSD docker and then on top we will have the database and middleware from Hadoops Redis or Redis or you know uh, MongoDB and all the way to like framework SDKs Node.js Python and so on to DevOps side of it now what is the benefit of it this is the traditional basically data centers and what that's supposed to add for us it's supposed to optimize transform from tradition or traditional uh, you know like custom hardware dedicated infrastructure for each application and distinct infrastructure and operation team into a cloud module which is supposed to be in industry standard hardware surface focused devops team and standardized processes and configuration and that will lead us to a module which we can use to basically geared for speed up our developers to uh, have a critical business role with the services and app and create complex uh, like um, a module with minimal uh, input if that makes sense you know an app is basically driven by data centers so in, in within within azure uh, as you stack how that will fall within the pillar of microsoft like if, if, you, if, if you if you from that slide we can see like azure active directory and on-premise active directory they have common identity same thing applied to integration of the management and security and the data platform however for azure services to interact with the on-premise data centers or to expose them to on-premise data centers we will be using Azure Stack, and that will give us a unified development and DevOps. Now, what tools that will be covering in, uh, in, in, in within Microsoft? The earlier slide we saw, we will be focusing on the paths, and the tool in particular will be like the portal itself, Key Vault, Image Gallery, Storage Queue, Logic App, SDKs, and Service Fabric. Later on, I will show you how we can do the Azure SDK installation with a step-by-step -step guide and with the infrastructure we will basically focus on uh, VNets uh, and VPN gateway between the cloud on-premise and the blob storage in the premium. These are the area we will be covering later on. I'm just highlighting them here at the moment for us and then this is the life cycle of like building deploying application wherever you are and the journey with like automation the operation development ex uh, experience and the tool associated with it and give you an example one of the tools we will be using to do that uh, release from like azure stack or on-premise to cloud is something like visual studio or vs code you can see how we can publish your work directly you know and you can see the azure stack tenancy and the goal of that azure stack tenancy will give me uh, power of Azure on uh, in, in data center basically. So this is the benefit. You know the goal and, uh, and the goal and power of Microsoft Stack is basically to ease it within the data center itself, and it will be look something like this basically. You go the entire Azure and Azure Stack interaction from lower to upper layer and like PowerShell portal, uh, resource manager, paths. Azure uh, like uh, infrastructure uh, component and then we go the stack hosted and later on we will cover the architecture of that will be how that will look like however what do we have we have the hybrid scenario what you are looking at it will look like something like this we got three 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 scenarios we will cover for today and that will be the edge on disconnected solution 
cloud application that meet every regulation requirement and then the modern application across cloud and on-premise which is the hybrid so what does that mean for us let's we jump to the first one this is the first example edge and disconnected solution we have the local data processing within Azure using the analytics, real-time latency requirement, connectivity issues, local data processing. By using the Azure for aggregate analytics, that will basically help us to common application logic across both disconnected and connected scenarios. These are one of the examples. And then we go to example number two. And this scenario, we can see the cloud application that meet every regulated or regulation from government region industry and all within consistent model approach which allow us to utilize azure stack to handle the preferences and then the last um, example is around modern application across cloud or on-premise basically legacy stuff if you remember the old days which will allow us to use the uh, latest tool offered by microsoft either paths surface less computing microservices and containers to move to the cloud to the latest doing update without basically challenging and issues like the all day when we used to do it on premise now this is what i have for you for today just quick to start with a quick uh, background and then later on we will start with deep diving into the hybrid approach thank you for watching and goodbye for now